Do you want to DJ live on the internet and stream your DJ mixes with Mixcloud? Then you're in the right place. Hi, I'm Dan from BeatmatchGuru.com and today I'm going to show you how to set it all up and then you can start DJing to the world. Zero takedowns, 100% legal, no copyright issues. So let's get stuck in. Now, as you can see here on the screen, we've got the setup on my blog. I've, I've actually laid out here what, what, what it looks like for me and so I'm using a DDJ400 that connects to the speakers but then also the DDJ400 connects to the USB of my MacBook Pro. I'm using Rekordbox and Rekordbox then links via a little hack called Black Hole and that links to OBS. So the point of that is that Black Hole allows you to link to OBS which then streams to Mixcloud but then what's really important is, is that Black Hole um, pushes the sound to OBS live and then, but then you can also listen to the master out in the speakers as well, which is really important because you want to hear what, what, what you're DJing with when you've actually got the speakers playing as well. Um, I use, I've got an iPhone, which I'm recording now, but you, you have to get an app. I've, at the moment, I'm using NDI. I've realized that it's not free anymore, so I, I believe it's not free anymore. So. Um, OBS actually have their own app which you can pay for and there's no no issues with that it, it's all clean there's no watermarks with because NDI has a watermark anyway enough enough explaining explaining let's go into the nitty-gritty of the setup let's get stuck in so first we need to download black hole so you can click the installer here go through the process of, of installing it now I don't know if it's actually available for uh, Windows, but I know for sure that it's available for Mac. That's because I'm using it on that. So once you've downloaded it, uh, you need to go to MIDI, MIDI Audio Setup, and then you need to right-click on Black Hole, and then select the sound output. So use this device for sound output, and then that's the first step. So once you've done that, you need to go to Record Box and go to the preferences. So once you've opened preferences, you need to click on audio and you can see audio here up at the top. And then it's really important to it, see this section here where it says audio, you need to click on DDJ 400 it, or whatever your, your DJ controller is. And then make sure you've selected this little checkbox here. So this is output audio from the computer's built-in speakers and your DJ equipment. So that's the bit where I was saying earlier where it's really important where you can send the signal out through the, the, the speakers, which then goes to OBS, and then you can actually hear through the speakers at the same time. So that's the hack bit, hack over. Once you've done that, you need to get hold of OBS. Now I won't go into the ins and outs of downloading OBS, but once you've got it, I'll put the link below as well just to help you out. But once you've done that, th there's two essential things as a basic setup. So adding the sources is really key. So you need two sources, uh, and that source is the audio, um, which is the record box. So you can see here, I've put, that's, that's the actually line in. So you can click on the plus, which is an add, and then just look for audio input capture. So I've created one already. So if you double click on this, as you can see what I've selected. So the, the, the audio in is actually using black hole. So because we've set up black hole uh, output from the, the sound card earlier, and that's, the computer will know to send that signal from record box uh, via the, the sound card to then to OBS. That's why this is really important. So this, the second bit is, is linking the video capture. So if you click on plus again, if you look for the video capture, the little camera icon here, so video capture device. So I've set one up already, so I double click on that. And then you can see it says Daniel's phone, which is me, that's my phone. And then once, if you've got it set up, you'll see the, the, uh, the video um, here going streaming live. So that's pretty much it, that, that's all you have to do for that. Now, because I'm using Mixcloud, there's a little bit of setup for that that you need to do. So go to Mixcloud and sign, sign up to Mixcloud. That's really important. So what you need to do is go to mixcloud.com um, forward slash live forward slash new um, and then 
if you've logged in and signed up, I think you can sign up for a 90 day trial, which is really, really good in my, in my opinion, because you, you can just toy around with it and you might not even like it, but you can go on Facebook and just muck about with the copyright issues. So I, that's why I love the mix club because uh, I don't have to worry about the, the copyright issues. But anyway, back to the setup. All you have to do is go to this, this URL, type in, so we can put in test, for example, as the name, but you can put whatever the genre of music and your name in, into, into the stream, stream name. So once you've done that, click confirm stream name, and then you'll see the key, and then you need to copy that. You can click on it once, and then it copies straight to, straight to the, the computer. What you need to do is go back to OBS, and then click on settings, and then click on stream, the service needs to be custom because you can see you've got a variety of different um, streaming services here like Restream, Facebook Live for example. But this is important so if you click on custom then you can put in the server here and then once you've done that go back to the stream key uh, page and then copy the actual unique uh, stream key. Go back to the stream key and then plug, copy and paste that in. And what I do is I just click on show and just a double check and it, it usually is right because you've copied it back in. So that's fine. But the unique thing that you need to know about each set that you stream live, you need to plug in a specific key every time that you generate a new key and then you have to plug this in every time. It's a bit of an annoy uh, annoyance really, but it it serves a, a great purpose and I'm sure Mixcloud will sort this out in the future anyway. So that's job done. Once you've got everything set up, all you need to do is to click start streaming and it should be fine. One thing I would say is to double check that the DDJ 400 you can see here, you, you need to make sure that there's levels coming in. I've made the mistake where I've not set, put the settings for the, the audio sound card and that's, that's not worked out very well. I've been live streaming myself, just not bopping along, which is very stupid. Um, so make sure that you set that up uh, and double check that, always sense check everything. And then, yeah, one, once you know that the, the camera's working uh, and then the, the audio's coming in fine, just click start streaming. And what you'll see is, is, is you'll see your, yourself coming live and then you just have to click on the green button that says go live and then you're ready to go. You can just start, start DJing to your heart's content. I think the, the, the added bonus that you can start doing with these sets is to click on start recording. That's really cool because not only are you DJing live under pressure, you're getting that, that real life DJing sensation. Um, and you can get these uh, recorded sets and put them on Mixcloud itself afterwards or you, and, you know, all the different platforms that you upload your DJ mixes to. So I hope that was really helpful. That, that's hopefully my simplistic way of doing it. It's taken me quite some time to figure this out. Um, get DJing, enjoy Mixcloud. It does cost a bit of money after the 90 days. I think it's 9.99 a month, but give, give it a try, see how you get on. The, the link is in the description if you want to read the article and go into a bit more detail. Um, it's actually a lot more in depth than what I'm explaining, but yeah, that will give you the ins and outs. Uh, also, you can Google Beatmatch Guru um, and type in any DJ tips that you'd like to find out. Um, also, subscribe and like this video if, if this is helping you out. Um, enjoy DJing on the live stream, guys. Thanks for watching.